Hi guys, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a coffee house. So this cocktail predates the uh, espresso martini and the Irish coffee by many years. It was originally created in the 1930s around that era. Um, and this is a modernized take on it. I believe the original version um, was rye whiskey espresso being hot coffee. Uh, so it was a hot drink um, and orange bitters. Well, there's and sugar as well, sorry. Uh, and this is a modernized version. Uh, so in place of the espresso and the sugar, we're using a coffee liqueur. So I'm utilizing, last time I got called out um, for using Manhattan rye, a lot of people dislike it. Um, this is the only rye whiskey I have on hand at the moment and I'm not gonna waste it. So I'm making two of these at once. Uh, reason being is I'm gonna try Mr. Black's coffee liqueur. So this has a lower sugar content and higher caffeine content. Aromas of really fresh roasted coffee on the nose. Uh, and then I'm also gonna compare that to the, their Amaro, which I think is gonna be very, very good. So 60 mil, two ounces for each of those. And then it's just 15 mil, half an ounce of your coffee liqueur. If you want to, if you do like it a little bit sweeter, then you can opt for uh, adding like a bar spoon of simple syrup, completely up to you. Uh, Demerara would work really well, uh, add a little bit more complexity. Then Mr. Black Amaro, so 15 mil, half an ounce to this one. And this modernized take, um, I believe was created, going back in about two, the early 2000s, I think, uh, by Richie Bacardo from Fresh Kills. I'm only giving this a short stir. Don't want to dilute it too much. I'm using these nice big clear cubes. Oh, completely forgot the orange bitters. So two dashes. Three ingredient cocktail, and I can't even get it right. So strain it over fresh ice. And likewise for the next one, 20, 30 seconds of stirring. I know someone's probably gonna time this and call me out for doing 19 seconds. <laughs> and then garnish with a twist of orange. So there you have a modernized take on a coffee house. And it looks bloody good. Cheers. The coffee isn't too strong. I'd actually probably like a little bit more. I'd probably increase the uh, the coffee up to probably 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce. Just that loop. I, I love my coffee. Um, all Australians really love their coffee, so I'd recommend upping that just a tiny bit and testing that out. Um, given that it's a double shot of whiskey uh, over ice, it is very smooth. You do get a little bit of spice coming through in saying that. I don't think this is a very spicy rye. Um, and I would have loved to have tried it with uh, a Rittenhouse or a Knob Creek or something different. And number two with the Amaro. Ooh. A lot more bitter, uh, a lot more complexity to that one. It's hard to decide which one I prefer. Um, 
I might go this one. It's tough. I, I think I like the original modernized take on that one, but I'd increase the coffee just that touch. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.